Hello everyone. So in this video, yes, I'm still wearing a shirt, not the same shirt. It has been washed. It, has, it, it is the same shirt, but yeah, it has been washed and uh, I'm trying to become a bit more decent these days. I mean, I'm decent, but I was actually doing something and I was supposed to wear a shirt. So I thought, okay, I'll also record this video for my own channel. Now today what we'll do, we'll uh, continue to play with AZBI and in, in this example I want to do something really useful I mean all my, all of my videos all the things that I show they are useful but th this is definitely uh, a very common thing common request now let us say in G I mean in Jira you have you have dates right and you want to know usually uh, difference between these two dates now these two dates could be um, number of days since the issue was created number of Day in, num, number of days between issue creation and issue due date. So let us do something uh, today. In our uh, list of epics, we have uh, this issue creation date and issue due date. What if you want to simply display a column here, like maybe difference between these two dates? It is very simple, um, but let us learn how to do it. So you can actually create a calculated member or this uh, calculated measure. You can define or basically give it a name like date difference creation or created and due date, right? And uh, there is a function or there is a method for doing it, uh, which is date diff days. It will take two arguments, dates, and it will calculate the difference for you. A very simple thing, but yeah, let us do it. Let us uh, get our hand dirty. So the first one is uh, issue created date. So we can type in here measures dot issue created date. The second one is uh, issue due date. And that is it. Simple, right? Let us click on the create button and it will of course and of course display it. And I'll probably move it right next to the other columns. Now we also have to, when you're working with the uh, dates, you have to make sure the format is correct. For example, in this case, we need numeric integer. I don't really care about decimal. Okay, integer. Integer is fine. And uh, update. And you'll have the difference. Right? And uh, it is actually quite, uh, quite straightforward way of uh, looking at the uh, information and uh, this is of course uh, just some number that will give you an idea about uh, days since or basically you may have like a KPI kind of a thing that you cannot really leave your uh, your your issues unresolved for more than 10 days or maybe um, if you have a due date uh, then maybe 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 this difference is in a way uh, going to help you in planning like okay this is this is my story or my task or i want it to happen on this date so it's like a duration right because using these two dates you can actually create like a gantt chart right which you can actually uh, because we have two dates uh, in our in our project of course we don't really want to create a gantt chart here but yeah, you can. But in this case, we just want to know the duration, right? Like when you say due date, you're basically saying or planning that, okay, it has to be done on this date. But of course, issue creation date might be different from issue start date. But I guess you get the idea. Now using this information, you can do a lot of other things. Maybe you can, uh, I mean, this is a simple formula, but you can add some logic like case statement, or maybe, maybe you want to highlight these uh, cells based on uh, you know some kind of conditional formatting and when you do conditional formatting this is this is i mean there are so many great things about ezbi you're not really limited to these uh, options you can even in your conditional formatting for your column or cell you can have some custom formula where you can actually write in uh, again these uh, um, calculations to help you uh, do condi conditional formatting even for those uh, unique cases that you can't really do here with these options. So we'll of course, you know, look at it. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll show you. But in this video, 
hopefully we have learned something simple yet powerful and useful and when you are trying to create reports you want to know difference between dates now one 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 thing that you may want to you should actually challenge uh, because when it comes to planning you don't really want to include your working days right or your non working days so y- you can actually instead of using date diff days you can use the date diff work uh, not work hours work days and uh, this is actually going to come on come on what is this i don't really want to use these perfect i think this is good all right update and uh, this is hopefully giving us uh, only the the working days it is i think yeah i i guess so so january 13 till 27 it is 14 days 13 days but it is showing us only 9 days this is actually very useful all right yeah good 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 right we have learned something great today and uh, we'll continue to to explore easy bi and use it to to report on issues in jira right the way we want all right that is all bye bye